Next we have diabetes type 2 with ketoacidosis. And the question is, um, what is the correct code assignment for type 2 diabetes mellitus with diabetic ketoacidosis? And this next question solves a problem you probably may have already identified in the ICD-10 index and tabular. The previous question tells us that type 1 diabetes with ketoacidosis has two distinct codes, whereas what you're going to learn in the answer to this question is that there is no code in ICD-10 currently for type 2 diabetes with ketoacidosis. Because here the answer tells us, assign code E13.10, other specified diabetes mellitus, which is the code that you use for um, drug-induced or other disease-induced diabetes mellitus with, with type 2. And here's the answer. Given the less than perfect limited choices, it was felt that it would be clinically important to identify the patient has ketoacidosis rather than assign this case to type 2 diabetes. The National Center for Health Statistics, who has oversight for volumes 1 and 2 of ICD-10, has agreed to consider future Coordination Maintenance Committee meetings a correction to the index and tabular. Um, basically what they're telling us is that there was an oversight in the creation of ICD-10 um, and that the answer is in the meantime until the classification is corrected to use an incorrect code. Um, in some respects, I would, one must be sympathetic to the position that coding clinic has been placed in. Um, ICD-10 has been a huge undertaking, and we knew that there would be areas that would require improvement and perhaps an area or two where there might have been an oversight or a mistake. And while we would have hoped that those little oversights or mistakes would have occurred in little used areas or codes, in fact, here is one that has been identified in, in, in a rather common occurring situation. So rather than bury its head in the sand, coding clinic has decided to take a position and to tell us how to solve the problem as an interim step until the classification is corrected. And that's why we bring this one to your attention so that you have a working solution to a specific problem created by the problem with the classification. So we want to bring that one to your attention.